simply shine, simply my shine. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Michelle, and today I'm gonna be reviewing products for you by Tia Mara. Y'all should already know who she is. If you don't, then that means you're too young to be watching this. I've always been inspired from her and her sister back in the 90s. Sister Sister was like one of my favorite shows, and I was always in love with their curls. I was always just so amazed at how beautiful their hair was. And so your girl Tia, she started her own brand. So you already know I had to show love and support exactly how my hair turned out from using her products and i will show you guys exactly what i did to achieve this look and i also will give you my honest opinions before i jump into the video let me know if you have tried for you products if you did let me know what you thought of them if you haven't and you want to see what the hype is about then make sure you stay tuned give this video a thumbs up and let's jump right into as it as for her line she has a clarifying shampoo as well as a moisturizing shampoo i chose to go strictly with just the clarifying shampoo only because i always get a lot of build up from gel and leave-in conditioners so I find that I benefit more from using a clarifying shampoo and with this clarifying shampoo it's supposed to deeply cleanse and remove buildup it contains apple cider vinegar and Hemi 15 if you don't know apple cider vinegar has always and will always be in my closet as a staple so I really knew that this was gonna benefit my hair being that apple cider vinegar helps to rebalance the scalp it also helps to enhance shine smooths and soften strands and it promotes really healthy hair it also contains an ingredient Hemi 15, which I knew nothing about until upon doing research, and Hemi 15 is supposed to deeply nourish and moisturize your hair from root to tip after just one use. It protects curls by deeply penetrating the hair shaft to nourish and repair curls, helping improve elasticity, definition, and reduce frizz. And once I applied it to my hair, I promise you a little goes a long way. Immediately after applying it to my scalp, I got such a great lather, and that's something that I always look for. And I knew that this was gonna work good because when you have a lot of product build up on your hair, you don't usually get a lot of lather after just one shampoo, after the second or the third, but instantly I got that lather. The smell honestly was really, really nice. Very light, which is something that I like when I'm looking for shampoos or products in general, because sometimes too much scent can cause a headache. For me, I'm just very sensitive in that sense, so I really could appreciate how light the scent was, but it still was very, very pretty. As I was working the shampoo through my scalp, my hair did not feel like it was going to tangle up. It did not feel like it was dry or stripping, which is something that I was like hoping that it didn't do. I was almost prepared for it only because it's a clarifying shampoo and that is basically going to strip all of the oils and build up out of your hair, but it did the it, it did the opposite. It did the opposite and my hair felt super moisturized. I don't want to say it felt like I don't know, I can't really explain it, but when I rinsed it out, I did not feel like I needed to hurry up and like apply conditioner. You know what I'm talking about when you wash your hair with like a really drying shampoo, you literally need to use a whole bottle of conditioner to follow up to like repair your curls. I did not get that. I felt like it was almost like I used a moisturizing shampoo and that's something that I really, really liked about it. I only really needed to wash my hair just one time because one time gave me just what I needed. I did exactly what it said. It revitalized, it removed buildup and I was left with a nice clean scalp. Going on to the conditioner, it has a moisturizing conditioner and she has a lightweight conditioner but I chose to go with the lightweight conditioner which also is supposed to gently moisturize and detangle the hair. It contains sea moss and Hemi 15 once again. As we know, sea moss is very good for us to ingest. It contains many minerals and vitamins that our body needs. It's also very beneficial for our hair. It's full of iron, which helps to prevent hair loss. It's an antioxidant that helps with hair growth and scalp health, fortifies hair strands, gives it shine, and it reduces dryness. So upon applying it to my hair, I was a little worried because it's very thin in consistency, but I just wanted to give it a shot because most of my conditioners are very thick. Y'all, I was shocked. Being that it's so lightweight, being that it's very thin in consistency, it did tangle my hair like butter. I was just like, whoa, hold up, wait a minute. I just put a lot on because I'm very heavy handed just to see I did not have to use any tools. Usually I go in with my tangle teaser brush just to like ensure that I got all the tangles out. But upon applying it, I literally just put my hair underneath the water just to like work it in. And my fingers ran through my hair and I was like, wow, again, the smell is beautiful. It almost smells like a baby. Something that you will put on a baby, it's very gentle, but it has like a it's very nice, like a floral smell, but not too much. And it's very, very soft and subtle and very, very appealing. A nice scent for your hair. Basically use it as if it was a deep conditioner, being that she doesn't have that. 
And so I just worked my fingers through it as the steam in the shower was um, going. That really helped to open up my cuticles because I do have low porosity hair. And so I struggled to hold the moisture in my hair. I really, 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 really loved the way my hair felt afterwards. I was just like, wow. Because most times I stick with one product and um, you know, sometimes you just don't get that moisturizing feeling out of a conditioner. And again, this was her lightweight conditioner. This was not the moisturizing conditioner. So I said to myself, this is just a lightweight and I'm getting these results. I imagine her moisturizing conditioner. So I always rinse my hair out with cool water because that always helps to close in the moisture and seal in the moisture that I need. And so now I'm gonna follow with my stylers. I started off with her leave-in curl cream, which is supposed to smooth frizz and softly hold. It contains flaxseed, which is one of my favorites. If you guys have been following me, I make my own DIY flaxseed and there has been no gel on the market that has tapped flaxseed. So I was like, I already know. I was super excited to try this. And this has Hemi 15 in it again. So it's a leave-in treatment that softly conditions. It gives nourish curls without the frizz. Apply to clean damp hair, comb to distribute evenly. If you want more of a hold, then you can follow up with the gel. So it also says to diffuse the hair. Whenever I'm going for a bomb wash and go, you wanna make sure it's a really small section. If I was to just take a whole bunch of product and just smooth it on the top, I'm not ensuring that I'm getting all of my roots because I'm just going on the top layer of my hair. So starting in small sections from my roots to my tip, instant definition, smell was so bomb. Like the smell was just, it was, it, it gave herbal essences in a sense. Again, it's very lightweight. Love, love, love it. It's pretty. Nothing like walking by and people like, girl, what's in your hair? I always love a product that gives a good scent and it did just that. One of the pros about this is that it has a twisty top, which I can appreciate instead of a pump because a lot of times a pump gets stuck and it's hard to open and close it, get the product to come out. This was very different and it was very easy to pour out. I really like that about this bottle and not to mention, you get a nice size for the amount that you are paying for. So I read that the leave-in gives you a soft hold and don't get me wrong, I do like a soft hold because I like the bounce. We don't want any stiffness. I also do like a little hold so that it's gonna give me longevity. A little crunch is something that I like, a little, little gel cast because I know that I'll get a few more days out of my wash and go as opposed to maybe one or two. So I followed up with the Curl Defining Gel which has aloe vera. The aloe vera is the goat. The aloe vera is what got your girl here. Aloe vera is so good, it's so moisturizing, and it's just gonna do everything it needs to do for your hair. It's gonna repair, it's going to heal, it's gonna do everything and then some. If you don't know, check out my video, y'all. I'll link them for you. It contains the Hemi 15 again, and the gel is supposed to be a long-lasting styler that defines the curls. Flexible hold and protection from environmental stressors. Upon applying it, it has like a jelly, consistency which I really love because I already know that it's gonna work right into these curls my dry thirsty curls my hair be super dry at times but I know the flaxseed gonna get me right a little bit of hold but not strong hold I didn't want to knock it I just wanted to apply it your girl's heavy-handed so I would appreciate if it was a little more in this bottle because I feel like I already used half of the bottle before I was done with the amount of hair that I have one of my wash and go to last okay so I'm, I'm very generous when it comes to applying any of my gels because that is going to be like the that is going to be the main ingredient to like give you that hold to give you that definition to give you everything that you need for your wash and go I would just go on and on about her scent because she took her time with this beautiful it's really, again, it gives that herbal essence smell. So if you really don't like lightweight smells or you want something that's gonna boom, maybe this might not be your thing. But for me, baby, it did just that because I do not want a headache after applying products. Finish applying it all throughout my head. I just went back in and just like made sure to not miss any spots. But I did skip the part with diffusing because I noticed for me, whenever I diffuse my hair, it just, gives me more frizz than I want. And whenever I'm going for like a nice wash and go to prevent any frizz, to give me more volume and to maintain my definition, I always just take my hair, pull it forward and put it into like a pineapple or like a claw clip and just let it air dry on its own. I find that heat, even on the lowest setting for me, is going to just give me more frizz than I actually intend, especially on first day hair. After a few days, it's fine, but like first day hair, you wanna have like that fresh new 
like sis, your hair is given. Third day, fourth day, I'm okay with a little bit of frizz. Frizz never hurt nobody, but I just wanted to get all that I could get. And I wanted to give my best review. I wanted to get the most out of her products. So what I did was I just pulled my hair forward and put it in a claw clip. Normally I'll just put it in a scrunchie and like wrap it in like a slappy bun, a messy bun. And let my hair just do what it does on its own and let it air dry. And my hair takes about a good day and a half. I will not lie. If I would have diffused, of course it would have been about 20, 30 minutes, but you gotta take time, patience, okay? If you want great results, you must be patient. Here we are. These are the end results, starting from the shampoo. Shampoo was amazing. It had really great slip. I can appreciate that because it's a clarifying shampoo again. So I was expecting my hair to be more on the dry side to give me more moisture. I only needed to wash my hair just once, but if I have a lot of buildup, I'll usually do two washes. One wash was enough. My hair was nice and clean, but it wasn't stripped. It didn't feel like squeaky, it didn't feel like straw, like sometimes your hair will feel after using a clarifying shampoo. And the Hemi 15 is something that I've never used. I've never actually heard of Hemi 15. I definitely wanna to, want to try more products that contain Hemi 15 because it helps to soften your hair from root to tip and it nourishes the hair. Following up with the conditioner, this is the lightweight conditioner. Again, it had a beautiful smell. Very lightweight, exactly what it said is exactly what it felt like. It wasn't too creamy, which worried me at first, but looks can be deceiving. It had amazing slip, so easy to detangle my hair. Not that my hair is hard to detangle, but you know, after a couple of days, you've been leaving your hair a little raggedy, it's going to be a little detangling session. Did not have to use any tools. The only thing I will say is I wish that she did have a deep conditioner or like a hair mask because I already know if the conditioner showed up and showed out, the mask is coming. Come on, T, I'm gonna need you to um, get that deep treatment. The leave-in conditioner was bomb. If you need some type of leave-in conditioner, this leave-in curl cream is gonna give you slip. It's not gonna be stiff. It's not gonna feel like your hair is dry. It's gonna give you moisture. It, it did just that. I love the way that it felt. I love the way that it smelled. And my curls were just so defined instantly. You know what I mean? Even like some of the areas where I feel like my curls are looser. Wait to restyle because I'm getting a little low. Like I said, I'm a little generous. But again, her products are made to give you that soft, flexible hold. So if you are somebody who likes that soft feeling, then this is going to be perfect for you. I do wish that it was a little crunchier. Just, just a little bit of a crunch. I don't know. I just, I like it. Only because I know that I'm going to be able to rock my hair longer and I don't have to go back and just want to get the job done and then take a few days off because natural hair is a process and then some. My hair does feel soft, I will say that. That's pretty much it for the gel. I love the smell. Honestly, I'm gonna keep going back to the smell because there's a lot of products that I've tried. Me being a product hair junkie, I've tried a lot. I've been through a lot when it came to my natural hair journey and I will say some of the smells are not very pleasant. I can appreciate that she was very mindful with not overpowering the smell but more so the quality of the product. Not only did I benefit from her products but the affordability is what I really can appreciate. A lot of these products on these shelves, they'll cost you a bag, okay? And don't get me wrong, I respect it and I appreciate people, especially black owned, trying to make it, you know, coming out with creativity and stuff like that. But you have to also be mindful that people are struggling and if your product is not guaranteed to give that per give us, us naturals, us curly head people, not gonna benefit from it, like it's not a guarantee. Now we just wasting money. So I can appreciate that her products literally are like in a $10 bracket. Not only the $10, they smell good and they work. Come on. Come on, Tia. That's what I'm talking about. My favorite out of everything is definitely going to be, it's going to be the conditioner, the lightweight conditioner, as well as the leave-in. Like those two, mom can't live without them. We'll continuously restock up on them. And lastly, I tried the Curl Refresher Mist which hydrates and revives hair, containing rosemary and Hemi 15. It says to refresh hydrated curls on non-wash days, spray evenly on hair and scalp. And again, this is a very lightweight, it's a very lightweight oil. Yeah, it's more like an oil type feel. It smells nice, it's very, very light once again. It's kind of hard to compare it to anything, but it's more like a sheen type of, I never really was big on Curl Refresher Mist, I feel like if I need to refresh my hair, I'ma wet it with some water and then I'm gonna reapply my products. I just didn't feel like I benefited, my hair benefited from it. I didn't really see much of a difference, honestly. The only thing that I didn't really care for or I could just leave out of my wash day routine. The thing I would like to add is that she didn't really specify on her products the hair types. So I like to consider myself 3C, 4A, I know there's been controversy with people in my videos like, girl, you are not 4A, you are not anywhere near 4. Baby, my coils is tight. 
wish that she would have put like for all hair textures or for 3c hair or for textures starting from 3c to 4 or looser curl patterns because that can definitely confuse people I'm very pleased let me know what you guys think about it let me know if it's given or it's not given let me know if you tried her products. If not, just another thing, this video is not sponsored, y'all. This is just me being me. If you have like the same type of curl pattern like me, definitely try it out. Definitely check her website out or you can go to Walmart. Pretty much it, I'm gonna get out of here. Let me know what you think. Also, if you want me to review any more products, please comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to your girl's channel. Don't forget to turn your notifications on so you never miss when I upload a video. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next upload. Simply share, simply share.